What is going on here? One's near again. Here for you, some Poke MMO, and I thought you guys would never see the day. Poke MMO, an MMO of Pokemon Fire Red. It's on the PC, it's free to play, anyone can play it, and it's super awesome. See, I have a character right here near Cinema. I've already used them, I've already beaten the Elite Four, I've already played through this game, and it's a really fun one, so I figured I'm gonna do it again, and this time post it up for you guys to hopefully enjoy. So we're gonna start off here with a new character. And did I mention character customization, ladies and gentlemen? You customize your character because there are hundreds of thousands of people in this game and you gotta look different. So first and foremost, let's change my hair. The first time I did this, I didn't pay much attention to uh, how I wanted my character to look. So my character looked like a three-year-old. Like, actually, I can recreate my character for you guys real quick. So we got, uh, so I had the crew cut. My eyes were default and uh, my, my hair, my hair color was like a brown. So I'm gonna go with like that. And uh, my top, which was, I I think that one, and I think it was a, a nice green top. Does that not look like a three-year-old to you? I mean, I had, I had different color pants, but you get the point. My guy looked like he was three, so I decided to make myself look old in this one. We're gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna give you some nice, uh, nice spiky hair there. Let's get some facial hair up in here. Hmm. I'm not sure. Ooh, that's a big beard. I think I'm gonna go with the big beard big beard and angry eyebrows <laughs> wait okay so I have the angry eyebrows with the happy eyes that 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 that's that <laughs> beard not yeah there we go we got the happy eyes we got the beard going on let's change the beard color to match my actual head uh, the top let's I don't know what the top should be should be red should have a big red shirt huh Is that, yeah let's go let's go with the red shirt what's wrong with red I like red and uh, my boots boots or shoes I don't think it makes a difference uh, my leggings can't really change that. Ooh, ah, let's go black pants. Yes, red top, black pants, and red shoes. Is there a difference between shoes and boots? I'm not entirely positive. Um, doesn't quite look like it. Whoa, what did I do? That, where, where, my leggings. Well, I guess that actually looks uh, rather decent, if you ask me. Let's go character name. We're gonna go with SB Nero. And my rival, I don't really care. My rival's name's gonna be Gary. Let's create her up. Hopefully, SB Nero is not. Oh, apparently, someone already snaked SB Nero. Uh, SB Nero with no space? Ah, someone's already taken that too. Hmm. Let's go Nero's Let's Plays, which is my Let's Play channel, huh? And no one took that one. Now, let's go with Nero's Let's Plays. We're gonna start this up here. And, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Palatown. And notice there are other people in the game. Because that is what Poke MMO is. It's other people in the game. I'm going to go down here to the options and make sure I'm on channel 1. Channel 1 is where the most people are at. Oh, goodness gracious. Look at all the people. All the people. Let's go downstairs. Hey, Mom. Birthday Dragon Knight in a pincer. Oh, freaking ready. Hi, Mommy. Mommy doesn't want to talk to me? Ah, right. Oh, boys must leave home someday. It said so on TV. Oh, yes. Yeah, Road next door. He's looking for you. I have played through the Generation 1 style games a ridiculous amount of times. And I know exactly what I'm doing. You gotta come up here to the grass, and Professor Oak's gonna be like, No, don't go out there. You gotta come back to my Poke Lab. And that's what he does. So he's gonna come up here. You need Pokemon for your own protection. I know. Here, come with me. All right, I'm, I'm coming. Me, my, I look older than you. <laughs> I mean, I got this big burly beard. I got my big spiky hair. I mean, I'm a G. Grimes have fed up with waiting. Gary, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, nearest Let's Plays. There's three Pokemon here. Uh -huh. The Pokemon held inside of these Pokeballs when I was young. I was a serious trainer. But now in my old age, I only have three left. You can go. You can choose one. I'm going to go ahead and choose one after Gary complains. Now, here's the problem. Here's what I get. We got Big Bad Charmander. I mean, we got uh, Squirtle here in the middle. Whew, this is going to be a tough one. Or Bulbasaur, which is who I took in when I did my plays this year by myself, because I like Bulbasaur the most. So I'm thinking either Squirtle or Charmander. And you know what? It's pretty hard to find a good fire type, so we're going to go with Charmander. And it's a little bit more difficult having Charmander, especially for the first two gyms. So we're going to take us a Charmander. Jimmy, these Pokemon really quite energetic, and I received Charmander from Professor Oak. And of course, Gary, being the douche he is, is going to go take the, uh, the type advantage, grabbing Squirtle. 
Now my only goal is to just say, heck yeah, I'm gonna leave now. Oh, but apparently I'm not gonna leave right now. Apparently Gary wants to throw down with me. Charmander v Bulbasaur, scratch versus tackle. It's about to go down. And uh, I'm not entirely positive whether or not I like this that much. It's a it's a transparent background. I can change it, uh, make it so it adds an actual battle animation. But I don't know, the transparent background, it kind of, just, uh, kind of sets a little bit of an ambiance, I would say, to this. Maybe I'll change it down the line. We'll have to see about that. But uh, we're going to go ahead and just take on this Squirtle, who is going to use, for whatever reason, Tail Whip instead of Tackle. And I'm just going to keep on scratching Squirtle until Squirtle goes down, because <laughs> why not, right? My Charmander looks pretty neat. So I want to sh show you guys a couple things about Pokemon Mo, but I have to get out of this battle for it to happen first. Ah, goodness gracious, all the battling has to go on with my little Charmander. Scratch you so hard, Squirtle. Ah, we're almost down. Almost down. I think it's his first time actually. His first time hitting me, and he gets a critical hit, and I'm next to dead. Good thing I actually got him. <laughs> ah, 70 experience points for old Charmander. That's gonna bump him up to level 6. All good, great, grand. There we go. And defeated rival Gary. Which, unbelievable. I picked the wrong Pokemon. And 80 bucks for winning. Alright. I made, I, I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. Smell you later. Yeah, 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 you and your things. Is my Pokemon healed or do I have to go up to see my mom? Ah, yeah, my Pokemon's all healed. You can see right here. Well, you guys may not be able to see because it's, uh, it's a little bit smaller. It, this game doesn't really lean itself perfectly towards uh, uh, game capture and posting to YouTube. A lot of editing has to go in. Uh, for example, the Poke Battles are not very big. I have to actually zoom in on every single one of them, and yeah, it all comes from editing. Uh, it looks like my Charmander is Bashful, which means he gets no stat changes. If you're an EV guy, like not the Pokemon EV, but you're looking to train up your effort values, which help make your Pokemon stronger, it actually keeps track of these, your EV points, here within PokeMMO. Hardcore Pokemon fans will know what this means, and will be like, wow, that's awesome. And then, uh, yeah, more casual ones, but like, yeah, that's kind of silly. Doesn't really matter. If you want, if I want a perfectly EV trained Charmander, I would uh, raise up his speed and his special attack. His special attack, I just face nothing but Gastly's at the Pokemon Tower to raise that up, and I'd raise his speed right here on Route One against Pidgeys and Rattatas. But uh, yeah, EV training, you don't really need to do it. It's more, it's more for competitive Pokemon. But how you get this game is you download Poke MMO, then you gotta download the Fire Red ROM because this is all set in Pokemon Fire Red. And if you want to see, and if you want to see people have their Pokemon following them around, such as this, and you want Pokemon to follow you as around as well, you gotta go grab a, uh, you know, Soul Silver or possibly Heart Gold, the ROMs for that, put it in the same folder. Then you click on your Pokemon, drag them behind you, and now you got any Pokemon you want following you around. So I have a little cute little Charmander following me around. I'm going to go grab the town map here from Gary's sister, and we're going to get our journey going here. It's going to be a long first episode. I think uh, once we actually get back to uh, back to Palatown after grabbing uh, the parcel for Oak up here. Get out of the way, woman. <laughs> look, look. I copied one. Of the, what? Trainer tips. Press start to open. No. I'm not going to press start to open menu. I'm just going to keep on trying to go forward here to get to Viridian City. And you guys need to freaking see Viridian City. It is crazy. Okay, Viridian City is like, I'm trying to compare it to other games. So when you play Skyrim, kind of the main city, at least for me, was Whiterun. You know, you always end up going back to Whiterun, no matter where you're at, right? Um, if I'm trying to picture Red Dead Redemption, have you played Red Dead Redemption online? Red Dead Redemption, Armadillo is like the main town. It's just, it just where the community as a whole kind of decided is like the epicenter for all the hips and happenings of Red Dead Redemption if you're playing it online. That's just kind of where it goes. And for Poke MMO, regardless if you're just a new trainer like me, you're just starting out and all you have is your uh, starter Pokemon, or regardless of you know how far you are in, maybe you're completely done with the game. You've beaten the Elite Four, you've taken on the islands, you've done all that stuff. Regardless, People meet at Viridian. Um, I've traded with tons of people here. Um, well, actually, let me let me uh, zoom in on this for you guys. See, uh, I usually I, I I click away from this, so it doesn't really show up. But this is the chat, and here within the chat, I can say I'm looking for anything. Uh, for example, I'm gonna put in uh, willing to trade Charman or I misspelled that <laughs> Charmander. Uh, looking for anything. All right, so I so I put that out. I didn't put it in the trade section, but. Uh, then uh, people can sometimes, uh, they'll whisper at me like what their offers are. They'll try and offer me different kinds of Pokemon and whatnot. But like I said though, Viridian City is the freaking epicenter for everything. Look how many freaking people are here. 
<laughs> and what's awesome okay so i said you have to download the pokemon's uh, like a soul silver rom or the heart gold rom you just have to do that in, in case you uh, want to see pokemon if you don't have that download you won't be able to have people following you around you won't be able to see the pokemon that are behind everyone else and that's half the neatness of this game is you can see like look at this this guy's got an alakazam and a shiny oddish and a shiny wobbuffet how the hell does this guy get so many shinies that's ridiculous. Shiny, shiny, shiny. And this guy's got a Dragonite right here. It's just cool to see what people got. This guy's got a Jolteon. This guy's got a Charmander. There's a Starmie right there. This guy's just, just starting out like me. He's got a Squirtle. This is just awesome. You see people talking, chatting. If you've ever played a Pokemon game, this is what you want. This is what you this is what you always dreamed about. I'm, I'm freaking out here. I'm freaking having my uh, <laughs> having the core for my headset bang up against my desk. But still, this is what you want. This is like the greatest thing in the history of ever. And everyone just lo <gasps> there's a Gengar. I had a Gengar. And oh, oh, I should cover on this too. So this game's free to play, right? But what you can get is reward points. And reward points, the only way to get them is to donate to the people who made the game. And uh, some people are like, oh no, you can't donate to people play the, or that made this game. They're kind of, they're, they're just taking money for, you know, cheat or kind of like stealing from Nintendo in a way. But they don't really do that. See, when you donate to them, you're donating to the people themselves, not donating to further the game. With reward points, you can get certain things. Like this person here has a top hat and, this per and he also has a suit on. Uh, this person has wings and sunglasses. Uh, these people, you can get the Team Rocket uniform, actually from the Celadon City Game Corner. If you get enough coins, like 900, like 9,999 coins, you can uh, get a Team Rocket uniform. There's just a lot of different things you can do via player customization, and I think that's one of the reasons people love PokeMMO so much. And uh, it, it's just a neat game. It's amazing to see like all the different kinds of Pokemon people have. They have kind of like different events now and again. Like certain Pokemon become available during the winter. Certain Pokemon become available during the spring. There's not all Generation 1 Pokemon here. As you can see, this little uh, cactus looking thing. And uh, oh, what the hell is this thing called? A Tyranitar looking thing? It, it's the evolution of Aaron. Um, yeah, he's in here as well. So there's a bunch of different kinds of Pokemon all around, all throughout this entire game. Let's go talk to Oak real quick. Oh, Nears Let's Plays, how's my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be the talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? And I delivered Oak's parcel. Yeah, it's a, it's a custom Pokeball. Oh boy. <laughs> and uh, I, had the, I had it on order. Thank you. Oh, here comes Gary. I almost forgot. What did you call me here for? Yeah, all right. I have a request for you, too. Oh, goodness, here comes the Pokedex. On the desk here is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Here's Let's Plays and Gary. Take these with you. All right. And I uh, received Pokedex from Oak. And you can't get detailed data on Pokemon just by seeing them. You must catch them to obtain complete data. And so here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. Ooh, Pokeballs. All right, if all Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw the ball at it and try and catch it. It, w it won't always work. However, a healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky. And to make a complete guide of all the Pokemon in the world, it was your dream. Ah, god damn it. Oh, come on with your talking. Ah, yeah, I know. I borrowed a town map from my sister. I already knew to get that. I already got the freaking town map from your sister, freaking Gary Oak. You big jerk. So, completing the poke. Ooh, now Kazam. Hey, when she does Alakazam. Oh, okay, did I mention that you can do this too? I don't, I don't think I mentioned this. So, uh, you see this nice person here at the Alakazam. His name is uh, Hercules Satan, which is an awful name. So I go here, right click, and I can click that. I can duel him, which means I want to battle him. I can whisper to him so I can have like a private conversation with this person. I can try and trade with him. I can have him as a friend. It's awesome. You can battle anybody. You don't get experience for the battles you have against uh, people, though. That way, uh, it's more of a competitive thing that way. Like, uh, a lot of people, like, go to Radiant City, and they'll look to battle, like, uh, 4v4s with uh, all level 50s, something like that. And if you're gaining XP, then your Pokemon's going to go past level 50, and then all of a sudden people don't want to battle you. You know, some people battle level 50, some people battle level 100. It really just depends on uh, the person and what exactly it is they're looking for. But it's, it's just such a neat game. So I think we're going to end off the first episode here once I get back to Viridian City. As you can tell, I am <laughs> I am happy with this game. I love this game. This game is awesome. I plan to do a full playthrough of it for you guys. And I've beaten Pokemon Fire Red, Pokemon Red, the Generation 1 games in general. I have just, I have whooped through them so many times in my day. And actually, real quick, let me go to Menu, and I'm going to go to Settings. 
and this is going to pop up and may not look that great for you guys. I'm going to render uh, the battle background. As you can see, that's what changes the battle background. I mean, we could do that. I don't know. I kind of like this. I kind of don't like it as much as the other one. I don't know. The transparency is pretty neat, I, I think, anyway. But uh, once we get back back up here to Viridian City, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, just call it call it an episode. And uh, I think everything will be good to go. And this is this is kind of freaking me out. So up here on top right hand side, it looks like it's an it looks like it's a uh, it's a, like a re battler in my bicycle. Oh, okay. So my hotkeys. If you see in top right hand side, my my hotkeys. One of them is the uh, the thing that makes you like reface uh, NPC players, and then the other one's the bicycle. Those were two things I had hotkeyed uh, from when I was playing on near cinema, not near let's plays. And it seems as though they still remain there if you create a new character. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of Pokemon MMO. If you did, please leave a rating where you guys feel the video deserves. Remember, any kind of rating whatsoever helps the video grow and helps my channel grow in turn. And until then, this has been here. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Please leave a rating. And uh, stay tuned because I plan to do a full playthrough of this game. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.